Welcome back to the show. We're going to be talking five heart healthy food swaps for you today. And don't, don't panic. I, I, I admit I looked at some of them and I was a little worried, but my <laughs> first, my next guest here has some, some great advice on some alternatives out there that are much healthier for our hearts. I'm joined by Dr. Joyce Johnson. Joyce, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great as well, Joyce. And um, let's start with this alternative to mayonnaise, because you were saying that, that your husband was a little reluctant, just as I am, because I do love mayonnaise. But I, I do love the alternative just as much. So let's, that's our starting point. Absolutely. So the swap out for mayonnaise is because mayonnaise is really made up of egg yolks and soybean oil. So without right off the top, you're getting an extra four grams of saturated fat that you don't necessarily need. So if you're wanting to swap it out because it's going onto a sandwich or into a salad, for instance, plain Greek yogurt is a great alternative, okay. if, especially if you're looking for the texture. Um, you can also look into some dips or spreads. So um, some smashed up avocado, for example, some hummus, even some pesto on a sandwich instead of mayonnaise is a healthier option. Uh, another one we want to talk about is is fatty fish and and we know of course we've talked to you before omega-3s so good for our heart health um, but this is a great alternative to, to red meat and perhaps we're not going to have people you know cut it out completely but you know inserting more of that fatty fish into our diet is is extremely important isn't it Absolutely, because that fatty fish contains omega-3, and we know that omega-3 is heart healthy because it's going to help to lower what we call serum triglycerides, and this is the fat that's in your blood. So when we look at the red meat, for example, the red meat can increase inflammation in your arteries, for example. It can lead to more production of these inflammatory chemicals in your body, which then can lead to increased blood pressure, increased cholesterol, um, and just an overall damaging effect to your cardiovascular system. So omega-3 absolutely is something that we should be considering as a swap out. So if you're not having two servings of fatty fish per week, um, it is recommended that you perhaps are supplementing with an omega-3 supplement instead of having the fish, for example. Are, are there other food alternatives? And just on that, you know, with uh, food inflation, yeah. Joyce, that we've, that we've seen, you know, when we think of fatty fish, salmon and tuna, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they, they've gone up in price like, like everything across the board. What about canned yes. tuna, canned salmon? Can, can we still get those omega-3s from that? Yes, absolutely. Also, you can get it from anchovies, from sardines, from mackerel. So these are all other options that you can get some omega-3 in your diet from. You can also get it, say you're a vegetarian, um, flax seeds, ground flax seeds are also sources of omega-3. You can get some omega-3 from walnuts. I mean, Fish is your best source, but there are some alternatives. Uh, let's talk salty snacks because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My, my, my guilty pleasure, I don't eat a lot of sweets, but I love, I love my chips. And you, you have an alternative to chips that is a, a lot healthier for us. I, I think we all know that, you know, anything in moderation, but some of us, you know, even that family size bag of chips, uh, I hate to say <laughs> it, but the family never gets to it in my household. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I completely understand. So what happens with chips is that you're getting a lot of salt. And right. we know that salt is going to increase your blood pressure. It can potentially lead to increased hypertension. So by switching out your chips for mixed nuts, and I know I've had this comment before, can it be salted? Preferably not, because okay. then that salt is going to work against you. Right. But if you're someone that's so used to it, Maybe you're going to mix half and half with unsalted and salted until you can sort of wean yourself down that you're happy and satisfied with the unsalted version. But it's also with the nuts, it's going to give you good, healthy fats, which we know is important. And also it's going to give you fiber. And those potato chips are not going to give you fiber. And we know that fiber is really important to help with all aspects of your health and lowering cholesterol, for example. So Definitely your mixed nuts is a great swap out. Are, are there, Joyce, are there some nuts that are, that are better for you than others? Um, well, you think about, you, maybe you want some that are rich in omega-3, so perhaps it's walnuts um, and almonds, for example. And everything is in moderation. 
right? They're all the different types of nuts have other health benefits to them. Even pine nuts have been shown to be good at helping control appetite. <laughs> Before we get to, you know, the alternative to sweets, let's talk mm -hmm. about, you know, what's what's what we find in sweets that that isn't good for our heart health first of all. Absolutely. So, we think about white sugar, white flour, hydrogenated oils, all of these trans fats. So, these are the things that are going to be detrimental to to your body, right? You're right. going to have uncontrolled blood sugar levels which we know is also not good for your heart and for your cardiovascular system. So by eliminating that and those trans fats, what we're doing is creating a nicer environment for um for your heart to be able to function better. And now if we're going to swap out the sweet treats for dark chocolate, so not only is dark chocolate going to be lower in sugar, um, but dark chocolate also contains flavanols, which can be beneficial at potentially lowering blood pressure as well. And absolutely and still delicious, right? Yeah, yeah, and you still get that mm -hmm. little, as you said, that little bit of sweetness. And we should say, you know, that white chocolate and milk chocolate, um, it is not the same thing as, as dark chocolate. And that's why we're talking about that specifically. Uh, just about a minute left right. here. Um, th those green sides instead of those white sides, mm -hmm. why should we look at that as an alternative? Well, what happens when you're having lots of the starchy carbohydrates, so all of the white things, the white flour, the white sugar, the white bread, the white pasta, the white rice, all of these things are going to potentially lead to blood sugar dysregulation, where your blood sugar is not under control, and we know that's a really important factor. So if you're going to continue to keep some of those starches, always in moderation, if you can, you want to choose the whole grain, so the brown rice, the whole grain pasta, the whole grain bread, those are better options. And then when we lean into the green products, the greens, obviously you're going to get more fiber, and you're also going to be getting some of those vitamins and minerals, especially a, a vitamin called vitamin K, I, I which hate, is really beneficial to for your heart. Joyce, just running out of time with you, but it's really okay. appreciate the time. We'll be right back.